Good teamwork helps to build morale in the workplace, which makes worker more productive and ultimately improves profits. For organizations that have excellent teamwork, problem solving is easier. Since people with different skills and knowledge will work together to produce a creative solution. So the theme of my today's tutorial is uh, teamwork. As you can see here, I have created uh, six options and with each uh, different color representing each team or each action. And then at the end, it's blending all as a teamwork. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. I have changed the slide background to gradient fill. Go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes under rectangles select the second one which is rectangle rounded corners draw like this and you can see on small orange point just drag it inside so it becomes fully curved and then i'm going to change the height and width the height i'm going to make it as 1.88 and the width i'm going to make it as 0.28 you end up getting this shape then you can just go to align center align middle and then shape outline make it no outline and using the alt and the right arrow key i'm going to press two times i'm holding the alt key and then one time and again one more time two times i have clicked so i end up with this shape then press ctrl d to duplicate and just copy it next to that one and make sure that this is properly aligned then control D likewise you have to do it till here now I'm going to select the very first line then go to format height you make it as 4.4 .4. you end up getting this much size then press Ctrl D to duplicate and put it the other side and using the arrow you can just bend it you have to just arrange it and then add one more press Ctrl D again bend that one Let me just bend this also a little bit. So I have bent these three, one, two, three lines, and I'm going to add three more lines, which is uh, facing upwards. Now I'm going to select this line, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and then just rotate it, which is something like this. should come till here again press ctrl d again rotate it this will show will end up somewhere here and one more last again rotate it and put it something like this So you can see here I have created all the lines. Now it's time to give the colors. So I'm now going to select this particular shape. Go to format, shape fill and you can select any color. Maybe this is orange. Then I'm going to select the color maybe a purple. Then I'm going to select for this kind of a yellow. Then I will select this maybe a green. Then I will select maybe blue and I will select some other color to this one. Now you can see here this all these three I am going to send this to back. Select these three objects under format send back send backward just say send to back. So you send this to back now and then you can start changing the color of these also. So let me just start changing with uh, these colors. 
all the six colors you can randomly choose it one by one you need to just change the colors so once you have changed the colors then you need to enter the circles so I have changed the whole colors of the shapes then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just click it here you can reduce the size a little bit and just place it exactly on top of the object or the shape and shape will make it white color shape outline and match to this particular color which is this one I believe and then increase the outline the weight to maybe 6 then press ctrl D add this one here and this shape outline to be matching with this color ctrl D again so this is the fifth and this is the sixth so just change the color according to the the shape I'm just changing all and then this is the orange and then you can add the text here or the numbers I'll just go to text and just say 0 1 bring it here I'll change the font to Century Gothic, make it bold, increase the size. So this is one. So let me just copy and then I can change the numbers. Control D to duplicate. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now it's time to add the detailed text. To add the text, go to insert text box and just type your text here. I'll change the font to again Century Gothic color I will make it somewhat darker gray color reduce the size so you can copy it here and if you have icons you can copy the icons also so just using control D I am just copying the text so you can see here our design is ready now and if you would like to do the animations, you can do the animation part of it also. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.